Hey everyone, this is Catherine. I said in a comment, um, I did a video on how I use the papers from the kit in my planner, but that video got messed up, so I'm just trying to redo it really fast. Um, so let's just jump right in. Okay, first things first, I took a piece of the notepad and then a piece of the paper and I cut it down, rounded the edges, and laminated it with five mil laminate. Now, if you wanna make like a whiteboard where things won't inadvertently rub off or transfer, you can use a Sharpie, right? See, it doesn't come off. And then rubbing alcohol will just take it right off. You can use dry erase markers. I found that they do work uh, depending on the brand, sometimes they can stain. Same thing with the Sharpie, but uh, for the most part, you're fine. And um, just a damp washcloth will take off the dry erase markers. Okay, this is um, just one of the dash covers with the dashboards in it. And where is it? I want to start with this one. Okay, this is the vellum. And I found that you, well, you can put two books inside the dashboard, which is great. They fit, there's plenty of room. But the dashboard being inside the other dashboard, you still see it when you're flipping through, but it kind of protects it. So um, you've still got that one kind of big piece and it's not gonna get kind of mangled when you put it in and out of your bag because it just has that little extra and it goes over so it doesn't get messed up. And then when I made that, I had some extra pieces left over, just like a strip from the edge, and there were scuff marks on this, so I just fussy cut it and stuck it down with um, a Prima Planner glue, glue stick. I found this works really well with the vellum because it's just it keeps that translucency and it looks really pretty. Then um, another way that I use my papers is I made this insert Okay, now I put my month at a glance in the center and I did another video where I show you how to, different ways to bind or rebind your inserts. And I did that here. This is a one month one, so I have just one in here. And obviously this is not super attractive to have on the other side. Now next month I can cut the binding, take this out and flip it. So I've not wasted anything, but that just, it looks really pretty in there. It's a way to use it. You still maintain a big piece. Yes, you have the perforation in the middle, but unless you're ripping it out of there, you can reuse it. So I tend to punch my holes in the same spot, or you could just use those holes as a guide for the next one. So I have that one there, and then I have one on the front, and it's just something nice to see when you open the book. And then I did, oh, and I should probably share this. This is a backing card. I forget what was on this one. I don't think it was this. I think, oh, I forget what it was. There was something that came in there, and there's a backing card. And I just laminated it and wrapped washi and then stuck it inside a Target dollar spot. So that's just another pretty little thing and a way to use some of the paper that came in the kit that's kind of unintended. Okay, this is, um, I, I stick my wallet insert in here, and I like to have it covered. So it doesn't just kind of, you, you can't just see all of my information right away. Um, this is the paper and I laminated it. I leave a little bit of space in the middle so that I can fold it. If you struggle to do that and get it all lined up perfectly, I most definitely have that issue. You can um, laminate the two pieces separately, cut them out, and then at the end just put packing tape in the middle or what's also really pretty is you put like washi and then a piece of packing tape um, then this I can pull it out because I used the repositionable um, tape runner and this is the tape um, sorry the paper from the kit this is just washi I laminated it I will never carry a whole notepad with me I know some people do, but to me it's just unnecessary bulk. So I um, just rip off a chunk and stick it on there again with this glue. And when, even when I get to the very last page, I can pull it off and then stick it back down on my planner. Nothing is wasted. So there's that. And I made things a little bit too big on accident because I've 
I'm not used to a pocket size, so I'm still adapting. Um, another thing that I like to do is, and this just happened to kind of fit, otherwise I would have used the scrapbooking paper. I grabbed another piece of the notepad, laminated it. Sometimes with these dollar spot pockets, the, the plastic on plastic, it kind of sticks, so you can have little bits in there that you can't get to. And what I find works is cut a piece of paper that's bigger than it, and I like to laminate it. Even though it's plastic on plastic, it slides on this. Um, and then when you're at the register, instead of you know fumbling like crazy and feeling like you're wasting everyone's time, you grab the back part. You can slide your finger in and then grab that back part and it all comes right out, which is awesome. And I hate the way that this came out. It's just too busy and everything. But um, I had leftover pieces from making other things. So I just, I fussy cut and stuck it down with just a glue stick. And again, it was a good way to use up a scrap and not have it go to waste. And it's like a nice way to, if you don't wanna have anything plain, but don't wanna cover the whole thing, because the front is printed, you can just cut that, cut out the pattern and stick it down. And then this is a, sort of the same thing. This is just a piece of the notepad and I stuck it in there so that I can reach out. And even this, this was on the card that said what was in the kit. I cut that out and laminated that. I don't waste anything. And I guess the last thing that's probably worth mentioning is I know some people are like, well, how can you be sure this will really stay? Um, what I do is I pull the elastic loop up a little bit and then I thread one end under. Now, if you have a pocket or an A6 maybe, what you get in this kit should be sufficient that you can pull it up and then it's still plenty long enough. See that? I have plenty of, plenty of wiggle room. Uh, and I did cut off quite a bit because I cut the, I made a knot and then stuffed it back up under and then cut off some. So like there's a good inch or so that I just, it's gone. Um, this is very generous size. So you could probably do that for a few. Otherwise you can just get another piece of cord. Any of the craft stores sell this type of material and then you don't have to worry you'll lose it. All right.